this is Kelly and um, today I have a um, small tutorial to share with you. I would like to show you how I coffee dyed my paper. So um, this is a junk journal and uh, I use some um, coffee dyed paper. Here's the finished look of this paper. It's aged. It's uh, distressed. I mean, it 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 gives it a, an aged look that um, that is uh, very nice in uh, in junk journals or other other creations. So today I'd like to share with you how I get that look. This is a junk journal that uh, I I just completed. So um, basically, what you will need is obviously. Some coffee. So here's some freshly uh, made uh, coffee. You'll also need some uh, paper. Um, what I use um, is just some regular um, printer paper. So that's the the regular. Um, I don't know how much it weighs. I will uh, put it um, put it up on the screen. And uh, so that's the regular uh, printing paper that I use. So you first you get your paper and then you just uh, crease it like so in a bowl. So you get a lot of crease and then you will open it um, carefully because you don't want to tear it. And once you've creased it, it's very easy to, um, to tear it. And that's not what you want. You just want to get your paper uh, creased. So, there you go. So that's what I do. I crease it well. Then I, um, I use a large oven pan. This is an old one. And um, so that's what I use. I pour my coffee in it. Like so. So basically this coffee is not very dark because it's um, basically I made my coffee this morning and um, instead of getting rid of the whatever uh, whatever was there I run a second um, round of coffee in it so it's a little lighter. So once you have that what you do is you dip your paper, oh it's nice and warm because this one just uh, finished. So you dip your paper in the pan like so. Not too long and then you remove it. And what I do is I put it in my oven um, dish. So I will show you in a second. Uh -huh. And this is where I put it. It's my oven dish. I'm so sorry for all this glare. Um, but this is the oven dish in which I put the, um, the paper to be, um, to be drying. So, next. So, um, what I usually do is I layer three pieces of papers in my pan. And then I just um, put them in my oven. So this one, I would put them at the high level. I don't know if you, if you see, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. And the temperature here is 85 degrees, but that's Celsius. So I would have to write the translation in, um, in uh, Fahrenheit degrees. So I would leave my paper there. I usually, I usually have two trays, so I would do two, um, two levels. So uh, now after several minutes, uh, the top uh, tray uh, seems to have dried some um, a little. Not completely, but um, it's dry enough to be uh, transferred to this um, this. Um, grill here. So that's what I'm doing. Transferring them to this grill. And um, oops, so that so that I can add um, another um, set of paper here in this uh, <coughs> in this pane here. I can add more in this pane and then Put it back here. That's what I'll do just now. So 
over here, three more um, sheets of papers, and in they go. So I have three layers um, baking at the same time. You can do more if you have a bigger oven, but uh, that's uh, just about as much as I can do at a time in mine. So um, it can be quite uh, time consuming as well. So let's meet again after. So now I have um, finished um, baking my papers. So as you can see, I've done different. Uh, I've done uh, some uh, with uh, little um, squares. I mean, um, and uh, and some plain uh, some plain ones that I will be using in my um, in my junk journal. Sorry for the lighting. It's it's terrible here in the in the space where I do the ironing. So basically, I have done a whole bunch of them, as you can see, because it's very time consuming. So when you do them, I would advise that you do a whole bunch at a time. And now I'm going to iron them. So you see it's a whole pile and uh, so I usually iron a bunch of them at a time like so there is a towel here on my ironing board and I will uh, put another um, towel over the papers and then I will iron them sorry for the noise in advance so here we go I'll be ironing them. So here, you see already how they have reduced in size. So I will turn them around and iron them again. And that's their final aspect. So basically from a, a big pile like I think it was that big, when it's not iron, I get to this um, pile when it is iron. So you see the difference? And uh, that's that. it does matter when you're doing a junk journal because you don't want a, your junk journal to be opening up like so. So basically that would be the trick. The, um, the creasing at the beginning of the operation allows you to have um, coffee uh, stains within the crease and, um, and the ironing allows them to lay a little flatter. So I'll continue and I'll see you soon. So here I am done cof um, coffee dyeing my papers and here is the... Um, the um, What's it called? Um, papers with uh, with um, little squares and uh, and uh, and uh, here's the plain paper and um, so gives it a, a, a nice little um, age defect and uh, that's perfect for uh, junk journals. And um, you can um, scroll through my channel if you want to see um, uh, some of the journals that I've made with uh, the coffee dyed paper. And uh, so I, co I do coffee dyed uh, plain copy paper, but I also uh, um, coffee dye um, music papers. I buy the, um, the, the, the music uh, book paper. This was from a guitar book. Um, that I have uh, bought in a thrift store and I have coffee dyed it. I do uh, book pages as well. I do some envelopes from my stash. Um, I do some of the pattern paper. This is actually the cover of the the the, the pattern of the block, the paper pad, and I did coffee dye it so I can cut pieces of it to. Uh, to add to a journal and uh, so here is the pattern paper gives it a nice um, look vintage look 
more of the music uh, paper. I found this one as well that I thought was cute and I did um, <laughs> dip it in coffee as well. I um, So everything that uh, I've tried several things. I've coffee dyed um, some uh, doilies as well. Um, here, different type of um, of coffee paper. Um, um, I even um, coffee dyed some um, Okay, this is not coffee dye, but I did coffee dye some papers that I had used before and added it to my uh, coffee dye stash. And um, so I'm having a lot of fun with that and uh, doing all my vintage projects with these. And then you can cut out uh, flowers from these or these. I mean, this is a lot of fun to play around with. So I hope this video was helpful and um, I'll see you around soon then. Happy crafting! Bye!